Let us welcome the eighth speaker. The eighth speaker is Mr. Aiki Yaginuma. His speech title is The Wall. The Wall. So Mr. Yaginuma, please come up to the stage. Thank you, Master of Ceremony and Honorable Judges and Questioner. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So before we begin, I'd like you all to play a little game with me. So please think of a movie you watched recently. Have you thought of one? Now, how does the movie end? Is it a happy ending? Is it a sad ending? Well, I think most of you are thinking of movies with happy endings, because actually over 98% of popular movies have happy endings. Now, let me play this game. But before that, I need to tell you all a little something. I'm gay. So, I'd like to talk about the last gay movie I watched. It was a Japanese movie called Crossnet. In this movie, a little girl is neglected by her mother, so she goes and lives with a gay couple that she became friendly with. They live together for a little while, and they're very happy. But one day, her mother finds out and takes her away from the gay couple. The end. Not a very happy ending, is it? In fact, almost every single movie about gay people has a sad and dark ending. This is because many people still think that LGBT people are severely discriminated against and that they still don't have certain basic rights and are suffering. Today, I'd like to show you all LGBT, people who understand and support LGBT, and even the haters, how we can deal with this situation. Currently in Japan, gay marriage is not allowed and 40% of Japanese people still don't accept LGBT. Actually, my parents used to be part of this 40%. When I first came out to them, they would sometimes say things to me like, you should try dating a girl. Men were made to love women, and maybe it's just a phase. They used to push their ideas onto me. But aren't LGBT people doing the exact same thing? Recently, Gay people around me are saying things to straight people like, you should accept everybody, no matter what they say their gender is. If you don't like an LGBT person, then you are discriminating against them. LGBT people are normal, just like you. But some people just don't understand why gay people are that way. Some people were brought up with, with religious beliefs that say that being gay is wrong. Some people just don't like some LGBT people. In my case, I've met many people who didn't like LGBT people in university. When I first entered Tohoku University, I actually entered more than 10 clubs and circles, and I came out as gay in all of them. But soon after, I realized that I wasn't accepted for who I was, for being gay in some of the clubs. So I decided to leave these clubs. Finally, I ended up in two clubs, the Piano Club, and of course, the English Speaking Society of Tohoku University. In these clubs, I felt like I was accepted for who I was, and everyone was very honest about what they were okay with and not about me. I was able to be me. Currently in Japan, gay marriage is not allowed, but gay partnerships are now being allowed in six cities in Japan and the number of cities is increasing every year. It is not the same as marriage, but it is treated the same. It is equal. We don't need to live exactly the same. We can live our own way, equally. If there are any LGBT people in this audience, I'd like you to do these three things. First, understand that you are not like everyone else. You don't need to live a life defined by other people. Just because you can't live a life like other people does not mean you are a victim. 
Second, don't try to force other people to accept LGBT. Just help them understand how you feel. Whether they want to accept you or not is their own free choice. Lastly, if you end up meeting somebody who does want, doesn't want to accept you, just don't interact with them. Just stay within your welcoming community. And if you do this, you may be able to live your LGBT life happily. And to those who understand and accept LGBT in this audience, please spread this message to as many LGBT people you may know. Please talk about this whenever you have a conversation about LGBT. If you do this, you may be able to save an LGBT person from feeling hated and lead them towards their welcoming community. And finally, to the people who still have some doubts about or do not want to accept LGBT, please continue to think how you want to freely. But please stop trying to force us to give into your normal ways of living. We will not force our ideals upon you as long as you don't force yours on us. We can be equal, but we don't need to be the same. We are different. We will always be different. We will always have different ways of living and thinking. People will always disagree with other people. We must accept that. We mustn't force our ideals on other people. There is a quote from the classic movie Blade Runner. The world is built on a wall that separates kind. Tell either side there's no wall. You've bought a war. I'm happy within living within my walls where I am welcome. I don't force myself into other communities where I would not be. I am safe. I could be myself. And you all could do the same. We can live within our walls where we are safe and welcome and understood. Maybe sometimes we can even look over the wall and experience other people's ways of thinking and living. But we do not need to break the wall. Breaking the wall will only cause hate, misunderstanding, and discrimination. Let's respect everyone's different ways of living. Let's respect everyone's different ways of thinking. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't break the wall. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yaginuma. Now, we have a question and answer session. Ms. Fukushima, please. Thank you, Yanuma-san, for your speech. So um, what can schools do to ensure the safety of LGBT students? Well, the reason why they're not safe in the first place is that they're coming out to everybody. And when you come out to your class, I mean, you can't really escape, you know? So in the first place, I don't think that you should really come out as much as possible. I didn't come out to my class in university. I only came out to my clubs because I could leave them right away whenever I wanted to. If I came out to my class and they didn't like me as who I was, then I could never escape and I wouldn't be safe. So maybe it is not really good to come out in like high school or before that, but and I don't see the necessity of coming out in high school either. I mean, if you live in your own community, now for gay people, there's like dating apps, which are actually quite useful for finding friends. And lots of my friends were using them in high school that I knew of because, I mean, my school was very welcome to gay people, but most of them aren't. So I think that we shouldn't just make everybody come out if you're gay and think where you should come out or not. Yes. Okay. Even if you don't come out, maybe yeah. if someone finds out, yeah, yeah. what can the school do? Shouldn't there be any rules or any, what any authorities can do to help you? 
help you if guys? somebody doesn't like a gay person i feel like they're entitled to not like that person it's not like you could say stop hating that person because that's their own choice well if they try to like hurt them physically that's illegal so i think the school should stop them but just normal hate and disliking somebody i think that is totally acceptable okay so um schools should just leave it unless as... there's like physical like someone tries to like kill him or mm -hmm. something of course they should stop that mm -hmm. but i think gay people should be put in that spotlight like there's people that don't like me there's people that hate me like, I don't think we should like, separate them from the truth. If people hate them, I think we should let them know. Okay, thank you very yes. much. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Fukushima and Mr. Yaginuma. Please go back to your seat. <laughs>